We enjoy kids here on the Journal. We especially enjoy spotlighting a young person with a singular talent, or in the case of the young lady we're about to introduce you to, not a singular, but plural talents. On 10 acres of unspoiled land filled with live oak trees and freshwater ponds, 12-year-old Maria Wearies finds solace. It's an interesting experience. I learn a lot about animals, and I learn how to live with them and how to cope with nature, which a lot of people who live in the city don't get to do. It's just good that she can come home and put on some old clothes and just go outside and play and not have to be worrying about anything. Worry doesn't seem to be a word in her vocabulary. Maria spends hours at home with her family, reminiscing, relaxing, and, oh yes, rehearsing. Well, from the time she was real tiny, we had a little toy xylophone. And she learned all of her um, nursery rhymes by the time she was 18 months. She could sing all of them, and she sang them in tune. You don't have to look hard to find this homeschooled student performing around the Gulf Coast. Maria recorded a CD titled On My Way when she was just 10 years old. She has appeared in a number of talent shows at Sarasota Players Theater. And I kept on moving through the points I needed proven. That brought her to the attention of Greg Gregory, drum major of the Jacobites Pipe and Drum Band, who, impressed by her singing, recruited her. And she opened our season uh, by singing the national anthem and Amazing Grace. Well, everybody in the band just fell in love with her and she kind of fell in love with us. But music is just the tip of the iceberg for Maria. Three days a week, she trains at the Ellington Ice and Sports Complex, the same rink that produced two Winter Olympic skating pairs. When the rink opened, we lived at the Christian Retreat, which wasn't far, and I took her over one day and just let her feel the ice, and I thought, gee, that'd be neat if she could just learn the basic skills, you know, of skating. Well, she got on the ice and just has been on it ever since. She loves the ice. Maria has competed at several regional meets and she's moving up. She has trained with figure skating Olympian Jeremy Barrett and is working on several new short and long programs that incorporate her many skills. Uh, Jeremy taught me for a while. He's working on my double axle and then when he got into the Olympics, of course, he had to stop. But I'm looking forward to starting up again with him. We haven't put it together yet, but she will also have a short program that has required elements. And um, I think the music she wants to skate to is I've Got Rhythm, and she does. Skating rink and stage, a far cry from where Maria came from. She was born in Haiti. Her father, Ron Wearies, a missionary there. He met some people that had a ministry down in Haiti, and because he was a captain, he uh, started by taking uh, freighters down there to take supplies to all the different missionaries. And he met the people down there and fell in love with the people, and he fell in love with Haiti, and he started doing work building schools and churches down there, and he just considered that his home, and that's where he wanted to be. Shortly after Maria was born, her father died from an overwhelming infection. Maria was brought to the U.S. to be raised by her aunts. They knew life in this country would give Maria opportunities she wouldn't have otherwise. A decision her family is grateful for each time Maria performs. For Maria is a gift and a living reminder of her father. We laugh a lot of times about the fact she's so much like her dad. So, so we think that Maria was a gift to us. We didn't know we were going to lose Ronnie, so we got Maria instead. And uh, she brings a lot of joy to the family. The best thing about my family is how much support they give me. I couldn't do it without them. 
When the music stops, Maria returns to the quiet in the woods where her dad spent time with his family, now her family. Although it's really far out here and a long drive, it's, uh, it's nice to get away from all of the loud noises and see the stars. Stars at night, stardom perhaps in her future. Oh.